The desire to live free and safe led two Venezuelan brothers to flee their country. Together, they started a new life and a new business in Sarasota. They share their story with 10 News reporter Isabel Mascareñas and say their people deserve the same opportunities and can have it under a new leader. People is leaving the country through everywhere, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador. I mean, any place is safer than Venezuela right now. After a break-in at his home. That's when I decided that I needed to be in a safe place. Ramon Lira left Venezuela four years ago when he was 18 years old, a year after taking part in the 2014 protests as part of La Resistencia, the resistance. People is dying for food. Children are dying because they don't have medicines. Uh, people is being persecuted because they are have a different opinion of what the government is doing. His brother Carlos and parents soon followed him to the U.S. They landed in Sarasota with a family friend, and the hard work began. I got three jobs at a time, uh, work 80 hours a week. Learned a new language and five months ago opened a new business. Kuwait Venezuelan street food, uh, a variety of uh, arepas, patacón, pepito sandwich. We are working hard for, uh, you know, to, to people know our culture, people know our food. For uh, me and my family, it's been a dream. A dream that includes more than the food truck business. I'm grateful also for having my family sleeping all night knowing that it's not going to happen anything to them. Ramon says in Sarasota they have a peaceful life not offered in today's Venezuela. That's why they support the new leader, Juan Guaido. We have uh, hope with Guaido, and he has uh, a good ideas. These days uh, are hard, but it's uh, necessary for change. To all the Venezuelans that are in the in Venezuelan country and out of this of the country, I'll tell them to pray to uh, pray to God every night for uh, for our freedom. The brothers say they are trying to help a children's charity back in Venezuela.